Console and PC Gaming here. Welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to play Rugby 08 in 4K mode. Yes, Rugby 08. Why? Because Rugby 08 is still, in my opinion, the best rugby game available today. It's better than Rugby Champions, in my opinion. It's Ben Rugby 20, in my opinion. It's Ben Rugby Challenge 3, in my opinion. So how do we play this in 4K? Well, okay, when the game came out, it didn't support all the higher resolutions. So when you first install the game, you're probably going to have... Um, Let's go back here and you're going to have in my rugby and display settings, you're probably going to have um, a maximum resolution of 1600 by 1200. Now, okay, this it says 1600 by 1200, but it's actually 4K. Don't forget, 4K didn't exist then, so they wouldn't have put that resolution in the description. But we can change it through a profile file, which I'll show you how to do later. First of all, uh, I'll show you how the game work, runs in this 4K resolution. So I've got everything set up high. And uh, what we're going to do, um, we are going to show you a quick game of the Rugby 08 in 4K. So let's click on New Zealand. Um, no, actually, let's click on Wales. So, uh, oh, something else I forgot to say, guys. Uh, I've plugged in my controller and I'm using a PS4, but I don't think it's going to pick this up now. Okay, it's not going to pick it up. Okay, let's just go back and, and I have to go back in. Okay, so quit that. So um, go back into the game, Rugby 08. Now the reason um, I'm using the PS4 controller, you can a sports. It's in the game. You can use an Xbox One controller, but the keys in the tutorial map to the same keys on the PS4 more or less. So that's why I used it. Uh, the uh, Xbox One controller does work, but you've got to work out which keys do what, which means you've got to go to the USB game controls, see what button is number one, etc., etc. So. Um, Okay, so Rugby 08 uh, is loading and uh, we should have our controller now and if I click to continue, okay, uh, we will be able to play. So click on play now. Uh, there's our controller, so I move that to the left. I'm going to pick uh, Wales, of course. And uh, we are going to play, who should we play? Should we play England? Yeah, we'll play England. So click on uh, continue and uh, then you can select which which locations you've got wales americas asia australia england france georgia ireland italy new zealand scotland but we're going to go to cardiff and uh, we're going to leave everything on five minutes because we're only going to show you how the game looks in 4k so and click on continue hello there i'm ian robertson and welcome to our coverage today of this special exhibition match i'm joined by grant fox Yes, and these teams don't like each other very much. Should be a fiery match today. No, oh, it's the English National Anthem. What about the Welsh one? And here we have a chance to run through each team. So there you go, that's it in 4K. I mean, I know the crowd doesn't look uh, 3D, but look at the graphics in 4K. So the game runs lovely on um, maximum resolution. Oh! So that's the cloudy um, setting, so it's like dark and rainy and let me show you now how it looks right if we click okay, quit match and then i'll show you what it looks like in sunny mode so click on play now so just go to wales again and uh just make sure we've got england uh i don't have to have england we can have it someone else but it doesn't matter okay click on continue so now i'm going to choose uh it says day conditions day night overcast closed roof we're going to go day uh, and click on continue so let's see if i can show you what the sun looks like Hello there. That's better. I'm Ian Robertson, and welcome to today's coverage of this exhibition match. I'm joined in the commentary box by former All Black fly half, Grant Fox. Thanks, Ian. Yes, well, Wales have played some spectacular running rugby in recent times, and I'm looking forward to that continuing today. Look at those graphics. It's better in the daylight, because you can see how sharp they are.
and here's the starting 15. Okay, so close up obviously you can see the the, the, the polygons but look look at the the, the the detail when it's far away in normal game mode it's really good see it's nice and smooth it's fluid it's fast And the kick in is absolutely spot on. You can also do like push up charges as well. Offloads, uh, side steps. You can see you can actually push for. Oh, I didn't do that time. England have the throw in at this line. Throw ins, uh, sorry, throw ins are nice and easy as well. You choose where you want to jump. Two, three, or four. I'm going to press well oh. taken. middle. You can also select RB by selecting RB. You can see wide standard defence. And you can do um, handoffs. Standing up tall, looking for support. You do sidesteps, box kicks. You can do everything. Oh, that was a good kick. So this time we're going to go to the middle again, and then jump up at the right time, hopefully. Oh, they won it again. Come on, guys. Just set the ruck up. Let's kick the ball out. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Oh no. Oh, knock on. Surely. Fast and furious. Fluid gameplay. The scrums are easy as well. So you see the scrums now. All we need to do is press the uh, two button and then the one to hook it back. And then we just push the analog stick to go forward. And I can just pick it up and pass. Here you go. Good charge there. And barge through. And I'm all there. away. I'm away. A little dribble kick. Oh. And the try. Yes. So the kick in straight forward as well. It's basically press the button to start the power meter, press the button again to stop the power meter, and then press it again in to get the accuracy, which is underneath that white arrow in that little box. So here we go. So power, stop, stop again for accuracy. So that's it. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? This is 30, uh, 4K resolution. Okay, close up. You see the edges, but you know, let's do it. As a um, upper under. So now I can just see if I can uh, do a push them away. Oh. Okay, let's play a little bit more. See if we can get a run on. Oh, Shane Williams, and he's through, Shanklin. Oh. And Wales all over him. Oh. I need to touch. Anyway. Look at that. So. 
I could play the game all the time. It's so good. Um, we'll do another video on, on what you can do in the game, but you can do a lot of stuff. You can do handoffs, you can do sidestep, you can do um, pushing forward, you can change your tactics. All that is in there, and you've got, of course, uh, if you click on quick match, uh, you've got rugby world cup you've got challenge mode game modes and in my rugby you've got um you can create players hall of fame manager squad all that stuff but how do we um do the resolution so first of all you need to get um a hex editor and i'm using hxd i'll put the link in the description but there it is there and then once you've done that you need to work out what resolution you want to change it to so this website here has got a good um, set of um, information about which resolutions uh, are what in hex values because you need to change them in what's called the hex value. So what we need to do, uh, I've got, an, let's show you an example, HXD is the hex editor and um, the file you need to open is in your documents folder. So it's in your documents folder, okay, in EA Sports Rugby 08. And uh, if you haven't got a, a pro .pro file, uh, just run the game and should create your default one now uh, as you saw the highest resolution that was available was 1600 by 1200 so if you set it at that in, in that profile you see i'll show you how to find that resolution in this file so you open that up by double clicking the folder and opening the file so uh, if you look in this value here 1600 okay is 4006 so let's open notepad and make a note notepad so 4006, right? That maps to 1600 resolution. Now, the other thing was the 1200 resolution is um, B004. So we have to put B004. So what we need to do then in that file is when you open it up, click on search, click on find, click on hex values, type in that string there. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh what happened there do i oh i have to put a space in there that's why so i have to do it like that so no it doesn't work like that either okay uh let me click in here first there's got to be a way of doing this i did it earlier no it's not working there either why is that in four o well it is because it's in there um okay that's weird uh Oh, perhaps it's not in there because it's the the, the resolution is not the original, is it? Right. Okay. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Go into backup profiles. Go into my original file, right? And then when I do a search for that, right? Okay. There you go. So that's the original file. So if when you have the uh, game in um, 1600 by 1200 resolution, that is what you need to change. Is this? By the way, you do you do this at your own risk. It, uh, we can't be responsible for anything that goes wrong. That's our disclaimer. So once you um, open that what you need to do then is change the resolution you want so in our example we want to change it to 3840 by 2160 so first of all we've got to get 383840 sorry i made a mistake there 3840 so the resolution for 3840 is going to be uh this this is what you need you need the, the formatted value so 3840 is treble 0f f capital f and uh, 2160 is 7008. So, 7008. Okay, so what we need to do, I don't want to use these ones here, but I'll show you where that is. So, here is where you'll find that. So, I've just typed in 000F7008, and that is my, my file that I'm using at the moment. So, that is the 384 by 2160. Okay, back up your file like I did your original file just in case something goes wrong and you revert back to it so uh, if I've got a good example here is uh, let's have a look uh, documents no not that one documents EA Sports Rugby uh, backup profiles so let's do this on an original file copy there you go so so you're starting out here you're looking for this resolution which is 1600 by 1200 you do a search you find hex value search or and then all you need to do basically is go here let's highlight both of them and put in a new resolution which is zero 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 f right and then um what was it uh seven oh seven oh uh oh eight that's it and you just click save and then start the game and it should be in that resolution but don't forget 
set it to 16 by 12 because it's easier to follow this tutorial and then it won't show 3 4 by 21 60 in that menu because obviously it didn't exist in those days and that is all you need to do but just make sure that when you do um i'm going to click up to here say no so if i go to my documents folder um where are we is this my documents yeah that's it there so um i've put in here um that's my profile but i backed up my original before i made any changes i i copied this i, I did the right click copy and then i i created a folder called the backup profiles and put it in there so that way if anything happens you can just take that far original file and put it back so uh, or you can actually just just hold it and copy it here like that do that before you do anything else okay so just in case it goes wrong you can go back and um uh, use that original file again like i said do this at your own risk it's up to you if you want to do it or not don't blame us if anything goes wrong and that's the way to do it so uh, first of all and um, what i have to say is um yes uh i'll put these links in the description the hxd freeware hex editor the values from the website for the resolutions and um uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on our channel we have nearly six thousand subscribers now and we have had uh 2.09 million views so thank you to everybody we um will we do our best uh but uh, we need your help to carry on doing this because it takes a lot of time to do these videos so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh i will be doing another rugby 08 video and uh we'll be showing you how to do the the moves um the handoffs and side steps and probably play uh through a world cup or something like that so leave a like subscribe and thanks very much goodbye